good, y'all? It's your boy Cozy Boy down back again with another video. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and we're back. Um, we're gonna get straight into it, man. The Portland Trailblazers have been sorely disappointed in this season so far, and their defense has been bad. And not bad as usual, but like morbidly bad. Like morbidly, morbidly bad. And right now I know they're missing players. Um and health and safety protocols, their head coaches in there, but still, it's it is it's nasty, bro. It's nasty. The it's nasty how bad their defense is. They're not communicating. They don't know what defense they're in. I don't. I don't even know what kind of defense they're in. I don't know if they're a man, if they're in zone. I don't know if it's a three two two three two two one one two two. I have no idea what in the world they're running or anything of that nature. And for all the smoke that, that people were giving Damian Lillard for run from the grind, bro, this is bad. Like, they were telling him to run from the grind, and it's like, at a certain point, I, I don't know how much more you could take because this is, this is frustrating for me. And I don't understand how 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 – I don't understand. It's it's really frustrating. Um, so we're going to break down a couple of these clips um, that are, like, mad egregious. Like, just, like, holy, holy egregious. I got three clips from the Mavericks game from a few nights ago. And I got two clips from last night's game. I guess the Lakers was bad. They just told LeBron happy birthday. They gave him the cake. And he had 43. And he had like 25 in the first half or 27 in the first half. And it was easy. It was like mad easy. He wasn't had, he didn't have to do way too much at all. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of these clips is going to be like, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is in the second quarter. LeBron just runs down the floor. Nobody stops the ball. And it's a dunk. It's a dunk. Like The next one. We got another one of them. This is the this one was the worst one. It's like, yeah, this game is is over with. This is terrible. So, Russell Westbrook gets the ball knocked out of bounds, and okay, cool. You you know what I'm saying? Cool. It, it's Lakers ball. Okay, let's get our defense set. We're walking around, dapping up, everything like that. LeBron's wide open. He just run. He just runs by everybody, and it's a dunk. Out of a baseline, out of bounds. A wide open dunk out of a baseline out of bounds because nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody knows where anybody's at. Nothing at all. Now, a couple of these is going to be from the Mavericks game. This first one is Norman Powell. What is Norman Powell doing? Okay. So, Norman Powell is guarding Dorian Finney-Smith on this possession, and he's watching the ball the entire time, and I'm going to pause it. All right? I'm going to pause it. Look at how far Dorian Finney-Smith is from his man. Do you see him? Do you see where Norman Powell is? I'm going to play it. Wide open three. How? I'm just going to let it speak for itself. That's terrible. Okay. Next one. This is just funny to me. Look at Tony Snell. Tony Snell don't know who to guard. <clears throat> he's guarding. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Dorian Finney-Smith in the corner. Yeah, he's guarding Dorian Finney-Smith in the corner. Um, he goes over to help to tag the roller and he's just running around in circles because he doesn't know where his man is and Norman Powell seals <laughs> not Norman Powell um, Dwight Powell seals Ant Simons Anthony Simons for an easy dunk this, this last one is just like what what is this because the reason I'm saying what is I'm going to pause this once they get set alright once they get set I'm going to pause this do you know what kind of defense this is because they don't they don't know if this is a man they don't know if this is a zone this is a 3-2 is this a one, two, one, one? I have no idea. I I can't tell you, bro. I cannot tell you, bro. The only reason why I don't know what this is because I don't know. I don't understand how Josh Green is that wide open. And then he sinks down, and Brandon Knight is wide the hell open. Easy tray ball. I don't understand what defense that is. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. And um, even when they get everybody back. What is the what is this team ceiling? Like legitimately, what is this team ceiling? I have do I do you know? I don't think it's that high. So it's kind of like what do we do now? You know what I'm saying? The pieces that they have are not very tradable. You know what I'm saying? Damian Lillard doesn't want to be traded. 
he wants to he wants to embrace the grind and stay there. But it's like it gets to a certain point, like as an organization, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you keep this player here and keep underachieving? Or do you start over and start fresh and 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 make new beginnings and try to figure this thing out? Because it's it's looking it's working it's looking real ugly right now. And it, I don't think it's gonna get too much better. It's gonna get a little bit better once they get everybody back, but I don't know how much better it's gonna get. So that's all I got for them, bro. It's just, it's it's bad, bro. It's bad for the Blazers right now. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is the Rockets. The Rockets are bad, as we all thought. But um, to begin the season, it was worse than we we all had, had expected it to be. To be honest with you, I thought the team was going to be way more competitive with, than what they were. Their coach damn near got fired, and um, the young guys didn't look good. KPJ and, and Jalen Green didn't look good as a duo, and it was just looking real, real ugly. But even though they're on six game losing streak, I know, I know. Relax, I'm good. I know. Even though they're on a six game losing streak, I like the process of what they're going through, especially in these past two games against the Lakers and against the um, the Heat. Um, I like the process that I've seen from this backcourt. Kevin Porter Jr. is really starting to embrace the role of a point guard because from those first few games, that first cluster of games, it, it seemed like he it wasn't natural for him to be a playmaker and be a point guard, but I feel like he's starting to embrace that role a little bit more. As you see in some of these clips, he's getting the ball to his guys. He's trusting his teammates more. And every now and then you'll see him drop a slick dime, a good pocket pass, a good, um, a good lob, or even the slick bounce pass is just like, boom, gets you there. And it shows flashes. It's nothing too crazy as of right now. And he still has a long way to go. I still think he needs to improve his ball handling. Um, He's improved his shot selection over these past two games, which I hope he keeps up. Even though the game against the Heat wasn't too crazy, he didn't he didn't shoot the ball too well. I think he was like three for ten, but you know what I'm saying that that's just a part of their growth. And with Jalen Green, Jalen Green has improved in the sense that he is starting to be a bit more patient. You know what I'm saying? They're getting a lot more patient. Uh, Jalen Green has showed a couple of flashes of his playmaking, and I just really like the process that they're going through right now to become better players. And in due time, it's going to happen, and they're going to be really, really good. Another young player I want to talk about is Alperin Singu. <laughs> Alperin Singu has been the best rookie on this team so far this season. Um, and I don't think that's like a – I don't think that's a hot take. Al P has been great. Like, he's been physical. He's been patient. He's been tenacious. He can rebound. He could score in the paint. He could pass the hell out of the ball. And defensively, he's solid. He's solid. Tate. Jay Sean Tate, a.k.a. my nickname for him is Mr. Hustle Buckets. He was getting to it. He was getting straight to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, But overall, I like the process that the Rockets are going through. Um, And, and like I said, in due time, they're going to be a, a, a better team. Jalen Green and uh, Kevin Porter Jr., are really starting to open my eyes, and I'm going to continue to watch them to see how they grow by the time the regular season ends. They should be really, really solid. And the last two things is just, like, crazy. Okay. Uh, th- this happened before all the, all those those other games that I was talking about. Um, DeMar DeRozan. The Marvelous. The All-Star. You know what I'm saying? DeMar DeRozan has been great this year. And this, this game winner is ridiculous. It don't make no sense. When I was watching it live, I was like, oh, are they going to get the shot off? Because DeMar seemed like he didn't know how much time was left. He was like, oh, oh, shit. Okay, I got to go. <laughs> and then he takes a one-legged, opposite leg, three ball, and it's just all it's cash money. And best believe you, I'm calm right now, but I damn near lost my mind when I seen that. I got up out of my chair. I ran into the other room. I was clapping my hands. I was telling him to talk to him, do all that other stuff. Like, I was on the bench, and I was celebrating with DeMar DeRozan. So, <laughs> and um, the only other thing I want to talk about was this Hezzy. This Hezzy by Devin Booker. Oh, my God. It was, oh, my God. <laughs> it made me melt. Pause. It made me melt because it, Hezzy, ugh, get to the rim. Dunk, ugh. It was easy. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you like this format, leave it a like. Give me a comment down below. Um, until next time, folks, stay cozy.